I just got done with my workout. It was so good and the guide will be done in about a month. I'm so excited to share it. Now I'm going to make my post workout. I'm literally shaking. But like sometimes I will have, cause right now it's like noon and sometimes I will have a full meal before I work out. Other times I'll just have a snack like I did today. It really just depends what my body wants. Like last night we ate dinner pretty late and we had a big dinner. I just wasn't as hungry this morning, but I always just listen to my body. If I feel like I need to eat, I'll eat. If I feel like I don't need to eat, I won't eat. It's really just that simple. Full post workout meal coming up with like protein, healthy fats, protein for recovery, healthy fats for energy, and then carbs to replenish my glycogen, and then also some veggies for nutrients. open pasture eggs and I have some organic greens with cold pressed olive oil nutritional yeast and pink salt and then some avocado toast on sprouted bread okay I really need to wash my hair just disregard it but I know some of you guys are probably wondering about Ezekiel bread because that's what I used to always eat and like I briefly mentioned in my last video I don't know why but I always get indigestion from Ezekiel bread Dave's killer bread isn't like as raw I guess you could say because Ezekiel bread is it's not totally like raw bread by any means, but it's very minimally processed and this bread is a little more processed, but the ingredients overall are really good, aside from wheat gluten. So my body really likes it and it's like 90% good ingredients. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's really good. What are you doing back there? And you can't forget Frank's hot sauce. I'm gonna go down to the pool get a little bit of sun. I'm so freaking pale and I literally have my hair like slicked back because it's so sweaty for my workout stuff and I need to wash it really bad and I also need to center that frame because I just moved our room around today. We're doing so many apartment updates like I just planned our whole other room out yesterday um, so we're gonna like refurbish our headboard in there and bring that in here because we're not gonna have that as a bedroom anymore so just so many fun things. I'll share everything as we do it. Yeah, the no headboard life is going to come to an end soon. I love it though. I don't know if anybody else does. I just feel like it's so cozy to be close to the ground, but at the same time, I just like need a change and yeah. I have some notebook work to do and your girl's pale. So I'm going to go get some sun and get a little work done. <laughs> I just got done showering I always well I'll show you guys exactly what I do like I said in another, <laughs> another video but I always put in a little twist bun after I shower and that helps give it like a wave I leave it up for like 30 to 60 minutes and it just gives it like a really pretty beachy wave but I'm going to make my shake I wanted to just add a couple little notes to this let me put my camera down okay so it's 4 30 right now and as you guys know the only thing I ate today was the banana MCT coffee, I've had two and a half liters of water so far. I had that breakfast that you guys saw, and then before I showered, I snacked on a couple Siete chips. If you guys have never had Siete chips, what are you doing? Obviously, that's not like ideal, quote unquote. It's 4.30, I've only had like one actual meal, like one and a half snacks, because the chips don't even count as snacks, as a snack. I used to make my full days of eating like as perfect as possible, and like plan out all my meals, make it just as like ideal and picture perfect as I could. And that's just not realistic when you're living a balanced lifestyle. There are things that are consistent no matter what, like eating nutrient dense food, eating gut healthy food, drinking my water, moving my body in some fashion, whether that's stretching for 10 minutes or a full workout. The inconsistencies of living a balanced lifestyle is that sometimes your meal timing is gonna be different. Sometimes the size of your meals is gonna be different. Sometimes your meals are just gonna be totally different. Like sometimes they're gonna be out, sometimes they're gonna be home. You just never know. And that doesn't have to ruin any progress. That doesn't have to, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing that I've only had one actual meal by 4.30. You just have to keep it balanced. So, for example, 
Ben. Sne ben sneezes so loud. I don't know if you guys heard that. But for example, I'm about to make this smoothie. So hypothetically speaking, let's say I had my breakfast at 10 o'clock this morning and then I had a lunch at like 1 o'clock and I had a huge salad. And I still wanted my smoothie right now because I love having a smoothie in the afternoon. I would make it a little bit smaller. Maybe I'd only use a third of a frozen banana. I'd only add like one-ish serving of healthy fats. I would kind of just keep it super basic, use water as the base. Make it just like a light, enjoyable like drink, not necessarily like a full smoothie, like meal smoothie, you know what I mean? But because this is gonna basically be a meal for me since I won't eat again until dinner, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna probably use like a full banana, if not one and a half bananas. Add like two to three sources of healthy fats, like oat milk or almond milk or something like that rather than water so that it makes it more dense. I'm gonna add extra superfoods in like flaxseed and chia seeds and all that kind of stuff um, to just make it more of like an actual meal rather than just a basic simple shape. What I'm getting at is that you always just want to keep a balance in mind. So if I were to have, like I said a minute ago, a full breakfast, a full lunch, and I was having a smoothie, I'd make it smaller because this is a full meal, I'm making it bigger. That also doesn't mean to like literally go home if you have only had one meal, if you were out all day, and just shove your face with food. because you need to keep it balanced. Like that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying to keep like the density of what you're eating in mind and just balance it out. So yeah, I mean, I don't want my full days of eating to be picture perfect anymore because they're not. This is how most of my days are. They're usually all different every single day. And by the end of the day, I'm giving my body consistent things, nutrient dense food, gut healthy food, um, high quality food, sustainably sourced food. Rant over, I'm gonna go make a smoothie and I highly recommend trying it because it tastes like chocolate milk. like chocolate milk but icy so I guess like a chocolate milkshake would be more like it I just wanted to note that you guys do not have to add all of those like super foody type ingredients if you don't want to they don't really affect the flavor at all at all at all don't spill but I know that naturally not everyone is gonna have all of those superfoods or at least not the same brand. I usually would use chia seeds as well to add some extra protein, some extra healthy fats, etc. But we are out of those. So that's why I did so much flax and so much almond butter. But yeah, I'm gonna get some work done. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so we are making dinner. Well, Ben's pretty much making dinner. We have two wild caught tuna steaks and he made like a coconut amino, cilantro, ginger, garlic, brown sauce. He's just searing those. And then we have oh some jasmine rice avocado over there that we're gonna put on top. We didn't really have a veggie that went with this, so I think we're just gonna each have like a salad after or something, but um, yeah, <laughs> no veggie with this dinner. And then we have a lime for the top, green onion, cilantro, black sesame seeds. I could make coconut kale really fast. Kale, kale. Kale, kale, kale. Such a quick veggie is just organic kale with a little coconut oil and then pink, whoa, <laughs> pink salt when you're done and it's like salty, coconutty kale. And it's like the easiest thing. It literally takes like two and a half minutes. Man down. Cilantro, <laughs> lime, a extra ginger, some black sesame seeds on top. This is our whole dinner. We have a quality source of protein. Always make sure your seafood is wild caught. Organic jasmine rice, super easy on your gut. Some coconut kale, healthy fats, veggies, like nutrients, fiber, etc. Avocado, healthy fats, sesame seeds, healthy fats. And then a bunch of like herbs and roots and things like that, like the garlic and the ginger and the pink salt. So many healthy things. <gasps> Guys, this dinner is so Freaking good. It was so easy. I will put the recipe for the tuna either down below or on a blog and link the blog down below. But yeah, you need to try this. It's amazing and it was so easy to make. <laughs> yes. And then for dessert, I'm just having a dark chocolate 
peanut butter cup from Trader Joe's. I might have like a bowl of cereal granola or something like I said, but I'm currently really full. So this is gonna curb the sweet tooth for right now. All right guys, so it is the next day and I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I didn't end up eating granola or anything last night, genuinely just cause I wasn't hungry, but I did continue to hydrate and I finished the day around like four liters. I always aim for three to four liters every day. Um, I love the water bottle that I have because it's like 36 ounces, I think. It's like a little more than a liter. So I usually just do three of those a day and it just like feels less than drinking four liters even though it's almost four liters then. You know what I mean? It is the, I'll show you guys because um, I always get questions on Instagram. So yeah, this is the bottle that I use and then it has like a straw lid and I love that because I'll literally I'm like a child I'll be like sitting on my computer with this like hanging out of my mouth just like chugging water but it works this is the simple and modern brand I got on Amazon for Christmas and they have all different sizes my friend has the half gallon I think and I really like that one too but I just don't feel like it's as like easy to travel with and stuff so I really like this size it is how many ounces 32 ounces so it's a little less than I thought but still <laughs> why am I still talking about this okay anyway tons of cool colors as well I'm done talking about water OMG what are we talking about over here <laughs> just, just my water bottle oh. my pat is gonna wrap up this video I hope that you guys got some you look sleepy yeah I am sleepy I'm sleepy too but I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye, Frank. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye! I'll see you later. <laughs>